walkie-walkies? Show everyone your walkie-walkies. Oh my gosh, those are really good walkie-walkies. Come on, Martin. Show the world your stomp-stomps. Oh, he got stomp-stomps, you best believe. Here he comes. Stomp, 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 stomp. We got new babies. I'm very eager to meet them. Oh my gosh, they're tiny, Jackie. They're, teeny tiny. they're very small. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi, honey. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Hi, baby. Oh, she seems even smaller. Yeah, she's, a baby. she's tiny. Oh, I cannot wait to feed you. I don't know when I became brachycephalic lady. <laughs> What's, what's their story? So they were brought to an emergency clinic last night and there were more than there are now. A couple of them didn't make it and we got the call this morning and we got into the shelter and as soon as I saw they were likely pugs, they can't be bottle fed. So it's kind of beyond the scope of what any typical shelter can do. So I am taking on these puppies because they need to be tube fed with brachycephalic animals. It's pretty unsafe to bottle feed them. They can just aspirate. So I was not planning on getting puppies today, but that's how it could crumble sometimes, you the know? puppy gods had other things. <laughs> yeah. She's the one that I'm more worried about. She's very thin. You see, he's, he's very active. She's, I'm a little more worried about her. I wish people would not breed these brachycephalic animals. It's so messed up. Think about like for every single brachycephalic animal you see on the street, how many had to die? How many of them didn't make it? We know that this is at least, you know, there are at least two more of these who didn't make it. And I hope this little girl's gonna be okay. But she's definitely a little bit more weak. Let's see how it feels to get a little bit of a meal. Oh, she is interested. She's like, something is happening near my mouth. Oh man, puppies have such awesomely huge esoph esophaguses, esophagi. A puppy, a puppy esophagus is an amazing and wonderful thing. The little girl is already like chunking up and the little boy is very active. Which one are you? You're the girl? I'm really proud of her. She looks so much better. She looked really weak before, but power of tube feeding. I really feel like letting them suckle while they tube feed is really nice for them. It's really natural feeling for them. Hopefully brings them a little bit of comfort. Definitely keeps them still. This is obviously not something you can do with kittens. Kittens have much tinier mouths. And it also is signaling to me, he's like, yeah, I still want to eat. Happy one week birthday, babies. <laughs> Amelia is quite a bit smaller than her brother. He's about 300 grams today and she is about 250. So she just hit half a pound. Big girl. Something that I think is really cute about her is she's always sticking her tongue out when she goes potty. Like she's like, okay, I know what comes next. It's gonna be food. Knowing how to tube feed is kind of like knowing how to diffuse a bomb. It's a skill set that most people definitely do not need and that, you know, most people never even need to worry about knowing how to do. But a few people in each community should know how to do it so that if there's a bomb, someone knows how to defuse it. And it just so happens that in this community, I'm one of those people. That's why I end up with a lot of these little tube feeder babies. But just like knowing how to defuse a bomb, you want the person who knows how to do that to take it really seriously. So um, I always take seriously that I could do a lot of harm if it's not placed correctly. There are a lot of checks that I do, but it's intentionally something that I don't teach on the internet because I don't think you should learn how to defuse a bomb on the internet. 
It's just something that should be a one-on-one -on -one training. And it honestly isn't something that most people need to know. If you're gonna be somebody who does this, you need to be someone who does it with a lot of practice and takes it super seriously. You know, I probably do thousands of tube feedings every year and that keeps me up on my skill set. It keeps me comfortable. You know, I did the math on these two and I'm gonna tube feed them about 400 times while they're here. And I've already done over 100 just this week. And that is how we've gone from tiny to slightly less tiny. <laughs>
first stick you ever found? <laughs> Good job. Sleepy?